Wow, abrupt music change much. So anyway, we're heading out the back door of Lorimar Castle, and now we are in Calapix! This place is, uh, again, it's another icy area, so... Salamander is probably the way to go! Let's find out. Well, that was pretty good. Um, quick tip, though, about the ice. Um, I gotta do this when I'm not casting, but... If you're sliding around on the ice a bunch and you want to stop, press L, the L button, or the jump button. In this case, for me, it's the Y button. But, um, press that and your character will stop. Ah, damn it, I'm wimped. This would be good, but, um, we're not in an area where wimp really matters. Oh, great. Now they're jumping me and willing. Come on, you, I'll take you all on. Kind of. Well, that's one. That's two. And you are next. There you go. Have some fire. Um, let me see. This place is kind of, um, mazy. It's not, well, it's not really mazy. It's just, you know, there's a lot going on, so. Those ice crystals can be broken. It takes four hits, so be aware of that and try not to do that when the enemies, are, when there are enemies around or else, uh, well, it might not be the best idea in the world. Like, uh, well, not really right now, but because there are no enemies immediate in the immediate vicinity, but, you know, like right now, if that guy on my left was coming towards me, that would be kind of bad. There's a bunch of new enemies around here, mostly reskins of previous enemies that are uh, in the icy areas now. Not nuts, a dead end. Well, I can use this time to sit a little bit. So, nothing really to talk about. I mean, first week of school was alright. Had to um, edit the whole um, school schedule to make sure that I was down for work because I want to be working. And, uh, oh, all of that stuff. There you go. Oh, don't suck my blood, leeches. Get out of here. Take that. Oh, you know what? I actually do kind of have something to talk about. So, um, you know how I was ranting about the whole thing with the dude that, uh, had some, um, problems with commentary recently? Well, um, as it turns out, he came out with episode two of his playthrough of Sonic Colors on Ninbuzz, and I'll probably leave a link somewhere to the episode. Probably in the top left corner, so... Whoa! What the heck is that thing? Well, that's another new enemy. It's called Saber Kitty. Nice kitty. Good kitty. Bad kitty. Stop hurting my boyfriend. Or wait... Willie's not... whatever. Ah, you're a jerk. But, uh, Saber Kitties actually have some fairly decent attack power, and they have that lightning bolt thing. I have no idea where they get the lightning from. Probably static electricity from their coat, but regardless of that fact, they can use it to paralyze you, I think, which is bad. But they don't have a lot of HP, so that's good. Shouldn't take much to take care of them, though. Would you come over here, Willie, so I can heal you? Thank you. Oh, why am I even sitting? I could just do this. But, um, yeah, so it turns out he, uh, posted the second episode of his Sonic Colors playthrough recently on Ninbuzz, and, uh, I was rather impressed with the improvements that he made. Oh, God, this won't end well. No! Okay. That was almost bad. And it's bad for Willy, but whatever. I don't care about Willy at this point. Because <laughs> it, I mean, the thing with it, um from here on out really in the game is that it's mostly going to be your main character dealing with the enemies. It's not really the job of the partner. The partner's more of a meat shield if you uh, are a caster. But um, yeah, anyway. So I was more impressed with what he did. He uh, didn't sound as tired. He was still a little bit boring and he ran out of steam towards the end, but it was definitely better than the previous episode. And um, another thing I actually should talk about now is that um, I actually kind of caught a break with this guy because um, if you remember, I was talking about how he was thinking about doing like a dual commentary or a co-commentary thing. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Whoa. Okay, keep me away from that guy so he doesn't use his bubbles on me and turn me into a wimp. There you go. Um, let's see, is there something? There is something up there. Great. It's too bad I can't don't have any other way of not sliding on the ice here. That would be nice. Got a water coin. We still need that one type of no. Okay. We still need that one type of coin. 
that uh, we haven't gotten yet. I believe it's a wind coin, or is it a wood coin? One of the two, but the point of the matter is that we haven't gotten it yet, so... But yeah, I might have caught a big break with this guy because, um, like I was saying, he wanted to do the whole co-commentary thing. And um, I'm actually interested in potentially doing that with him. Because the way I see it is I, I figure if I do like a co-commentary thing, it can kind of help me to get ready for my own playthrough of um, Sonic Colors. Because that way I'll kind of have an idea of... <sighs> missed him. Stupid ice sliding me around and moving my targets or moving me away from my targets. There you go. But, um... Anyway, I'll be probably doing um, an episode at some point with him. I just have to actually get Skype to work for me. Excuse me. I just actually have to get Skype to work for me because it hasn't been working for me. I've installed it and stuff like that, and I end up getting a fatal error during installation, apparently, according to my computer. Um, I don't know what the hell that's all about, but, uh... Oops. Remind me never to do that again, because I just wasted 12 MP for something I could have just punched. But, um, yeah, it's... I, I installed it as normal and everything like that, but it, it's been happening re a lot recently on my computer to where I can't actually download, like, any executable files off of my internet browser. It's actually become a problem, because at one point I had to do so on a different computer. Um, for some schoolwork for myself, which was uh, something because I needed to work on something that I'm not used to on a different computer in order to, to actually get my schoolwork done. So it's kind of a problem um, that I can't download executable files because it um, interferes not only with my ability to co-commentate with this guy, but I also have other ideas that with which I will be using Skype, which um, it will I'll. Um, go over my ideas at a later date because um, it has to concern what I'll be doing while Son I'm doing the playthrough of Sonic Colors next. Oh look, Batmo ripoffs. I believe these guys still drop blood pouches, but uh, don't quote me on that. Besides, why would you need blood pouches anyway? It's not like the amount of um, lucre that you get from Blassie at this point would be really worth it way back in topple. Although it makes sense um, you know, that they would drop blood pouches, but for a reason that I know at this point, and it's kind of, uh, something that we'll get at in a little bit. But yeah, um, I actually would like to use Skype for, um, certain other pro a certain other, um, type of project. Well, it's not really another type of project, it's more of a fun thing that um, involves my subscribers, a Nintendo Wii, and a random number generator. No, it's not a giveaway, if that's what you're wondering, but... <laughs> anyway, um, I would like to use Skype for certain measures that I've been thinking about. Wow, I'm way off my magic targeting today. I'd like to use Skype for those reasons, but it's not cooperating, so I'm going to have to get that fixed ASAP. Ah! Get out of here, Saber Kitty! So, I'll have to figure out what's wrong with my Skype and move from there as we go. Did Willie just put an enemy to sleep with his bare hands? <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. Let, let, let me check his uh, weapon real quick, just so I can see this, because... Um, I, I've never really checked his... Oh, okay. I thought he put an enemy to sleep there with his... Uh, it, it looked like they were sleeping. It had, They had, like, the... Um, it looked like they had the Z's, but maybe that was just the, uh, what's it called? The leech sucking, um, trying to suck his HP out. I don't know, but, um, whoa. Still slipping and sliding on the ice here. This place is especially icy. But, uh, golden mana statue here, so that's always nice. Um, if you're at level 40 at this point, you should be fine, so, uh, but you probably will want to equip... Um, different things depending on what you are. If you're a magic user, you'll want to equip Salamander or Gnome depending on which one is a higher level, and a um, probably the Staff or the Nux, preferably the Nux because you can run it over the enemy several times. Or if you're a physical character, equip the bow or some long-range weapon, but usually the bow is the strongest long-range weapon you have at this point if you're a melee character. Whoa! 
Abrupt boss time? Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Well, this is Malorus, and, um, it's some kind of spider. And as you can see, she can stick the snowman status on you. Which is rather annoying, but not quite as annoying as, say, something else, like, uh... Can I even damage the tentacle? Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Certain other statuses can be more annoying, like darkness and all that stuff. Um, thankfully, I have no silence on my um, on Elena because uh, that would be rather annoying if I had silence at this point because she is a caster. Not very annoying for Willy because he's not really casting. Where are you going, lady? Too hot for you? Whoa. Those are yeah, yeah. You want to stay away from those ice crystals because they will expand and cause you to go into snowman. This, uh, Malaris has a lot of different ways of putting you into snowman, which is kind of annoying, but at the same time not really, because um, it just prevents you from taking damage as well. So use the bow, use Salamander or Gnome, and you should be good. So, what, you want more, you evil spirit? What do you mean, is it so? Wait a minute. Oh, so you were an ice spirit? Like, like kind of like Undine, except ice? I'm pretty sure that's what she's, he's, excuse me, he's implying here, but. Wow, I guess uh, Vandal's evil mana energy uh, affects even the sanity of the spirits here. Well, you're welcome, um, but uh, can you do something about the uh, ice in this area? Oh, that is about ten different kinds of wrong.
damn. Gotta feel sorry for Dirac there, although... Seriously, dude. Don't pursue her at that point. She's a cougar. Anyway. I guess we uh, have saved the kingdom of Lorimar. And, well, Dirac has ascended to the throne. I wonder where the old king went. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure he's right over here. He is. Here he is, right here. What do you have to say for yourself, former King Lorimar? Oh, I guess he knew, didn't he? So, uh, man, I didn't really didn't see that coming about Marley. I guess that's why she's uh, kind of cold-hearted and distant. Well, you can't, unfortunately, sir, so you may as well take what life's thrown at you and live it to the fullest. Because what good is living life if you're not living it up? No good, and that's bad. So live life to the fullest, every day. A lesson from G.I. Joe. Yep, that was us. Can we receive some sort of reward for this, or are we just going to keep moving on? What about her? You still want to marry her, dude? Aw, oh, man. Well, I, I suppose, you know, once a love, always a love, but... That whole first love thing, but... Ugh... That just seems wrong to me. Well, yeah, I would imagine she's always welcome. This is her kingdom, pretty much. Wow. Is that what she used to look like? To be honest with you, that face on this maid kind of looks... older than Marley. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me and my uh, facial recognition. Nah, he'll be fine. He'll marry one of you other maids. You will have so many children together. What, you don't remember? Did the freeze cause your brain to go on standby as well? Well, both, of course. What do you know? You're a soldier. Isn't he a realm soldier? How the hell did he get stuck here? Well, anyway, we saved the kingdom of Lorimar. We uh, brought a rain of blood to the people in order to melt not only the frozen physical body, but the frozen hearts that left the kingdom in ruin at one point. I just licked my lips. Tastes like people. Anyway, um, I think that will be it for this episode of Sword of Mana. In the next episode, I'm going to switch back to Duke, and we're going to finish up everything we have to do here in Lorimar. There's a couple of little side quests that I want to do here in Lorimar before we move on. And then once we're finished, we will move on to the Rocky Wilds, and eventually the Sword of Mana in the Subsea Volcano. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Take care.